Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys another traditional origami. Today we're going to make a traditional origami palanquin. For this origami you just need one piece of origami paper. I'm using a piece of paper that's 15 by 15 centimeters. Uh, what we're going to do here first is starting with our color side facing down. I want to go ahead and fold my paper um, in half and we're going to fold it uh, both first vertically and horizontally. We're going to get the preliminary creases down that we need. Then with the color side facing up, fold it in half diagonally. Both ways. Go ahead and open everything up and look at it from the color side. Fold it in half and push in so that we can shimmy it around into a square base. Now I want to make sure that I've got my point here at the top and I'm going to take the side and fold it uh, in to the middle, taking that outer edge there, fold it right into the center, keep a good, good point there at the bottom. Make a good crease, and then we'll do the other side as well. Flip it over, do the same thing on the back. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the top part and fold it down to make a good crease, both here at the top. Open everything up. I'm going to take this first layer and open it up to the creased edge that I've made. We're just going to smooth all this out up towards the top. Reverse the crease that you need to there so we can get that extended all the way out. We'll do the same thing on this side too. And then I'm just going to flip it over and do the same thing on the back. So I have something like this. And we have the two flaps up there at the top. And I'm just gonna take that flap and fold it straight down, flip it over, fold it down on this side. So we have something that looks like a little kite. And I'm just gonna turn it around and I'm gonna take what you see here at the top and fold it straight down to the bottom. Flip it over, do the same thing on this side too. So I have these little like ears here at the top and those both those edges are folded down to the bottom. And then I'm just going to take this flap that you see here, fold it over to the center, flip it over, do the same thing on the other side too. So I get the nice smooth surface of the kite here. And I'm going to take the outer edge and fold it towards the center. Try to get as nice of a point there as you can. Fold it over. We'll do this side too. Get something like that on that side. Flip it over. Do the same thing on the other side as well. Once I've got both of those sides folded over, then I can go ahead and take uh, the stuff that you see here on the side. And what we want to do is kind of open this section up a little bit and push it out to create a new angle. And I want to go ahead and bring it out until that creased edge comes all the way out, even with things here, so that that creased edge is even with the edge that you see here. And ideally, it should be kind of lined up with what you see down here. It may stick it out a little bit more than that. I'm just going to repeat those steps then on all the other sides as well here as I kind of poof out these edges. Try to kind of, of course, make them even to each other if you can. We'll get the front side done and then the other side will be a little easier because you can just sort of mimic the space of where you are with that when you fold it down.
After folding those guys out, then I want to go ahead and uh, fold these flaps over here. And I should have these two things sticking up here. And I'm just going to take each of those and reverse them down inside. And I'm just going to try to keep them so that they're almost even with stuff here. And kind of straight if you can. this side too. Kind of tug on it as you're working. So I get something that looks like this. Now I'm going to take this layer here and fold it flush to those points on the side and then tuck it over. Turn it over. Take everything here and fold it up together. Keeping those together there when you do that. Flip it over. So you've got a little bit of that leftover piece there behind it kind of sticking up as you get this to kind of fold up to the top. And then I'm just gonna take everything here and fold it over again. And in the end, what I want to do is take this and tuck it inside here. I'm going to first kind of pinch it right over this edge to get it to go all the way inside here and keep that kind of concealed underneath. You shouldn't really see much of it. If you do have a little of it there, you can kind of hide it if you want to a little bit by tucking it underneath a little bit again. But that's what you've got then at the top. And I'm just going to take down at the bottom and fold down so that I can get a Kind of a line going for where the base of everything is going to be when I open this up. And then this process we just need to kind of gently tug on the opposite sides here to kind of open up this bottom part. Uh, you can't uh, really go inside because we've secured the top already so we need to just gently tug here on the sides until we can reveal a nice flat surface. And you can kind of smooth the sides out if you can. But we want to get this opened up until you can get a nice flat square on the bottom there. And what kind of looks like a little bag then on the bottom part. And that is how you make a traditional origami palanquin. I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!